Hello, this is Viable Guyver, and today we're taking a look at the Klein Tools 6-in-1 Metric Impact Socket Set. Alright, so the part number on this is the 32933M, M for metric. Uh, they do make an SAE version, which is a 7-in-1 because the quarter-inch drive on the 7-in-1 will also work with quarter-inch bits. And I'll show you in just a moment. So on this you have three reversible sockets. On this one you have 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter, you have a 10 millimeter or 12, and a 13 millimeter or 14 millimeter. Now this or these are the common sizes in my vehicle. So this tool is specifically going to go in my vehicle's toolbox or roll bag um, in order to reduce some weight of having pull size sockets. These also give me the option of being able to use them on a screwdriver. And I'll show you that shortly. So, <laughs> last video I tried to do this. I actually launched this outwards because the magnet is so strong. Um, and I almost broke my desk because I have a glass desk underneath this pad. So, let me show you. Uh, I wasn't completely ready after that mess, but this is also my toolbox. So this is a uh, tool bag. This is a Titan uh, multi bit screwdriver. You take it out and there's a, that kind of thing there. A little quarter inch drive, and these are all different bits. Let me tell you what they are on the inside. So, let me pick this T15, right? So, this is a quarter inch drive bit. Quarter inch drive bit, let me take that off the end so I don't watch it somewhere. Does not fit, you know, like it fits kind of in here, but it's loose. So, if you're not careful, it'll spin. So, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll work in a pinch. But I wouldn't trust it. Let me move that to the side here, and this. And I'll put a link in the description to this Titan screwdriver. I don't know what it's specifically called. I've had it for years. i got like four or five of them. I used to get them from uh, AutoZone or uh, Advanced Auto Parts. I used to carry them. So, I'll link that in the description, just in case anyone's interested. Now... So I took the 7 mil, 7, 8 mil off, and it goes in any position. I just For the video, I'm just lining them up this way, and they do move on this. So I could even do that, make them all line up nice and short. So again, 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 13, 14 millimeter. To get the ones off the back, just pull. So you can see they're kind of funky shaped on the inside. They're not quite hex. And it looks, I can't tell, it doesn't look like there's a ball detent on the inside. Oh, there is a ball detent. You may not be able to see that in the video, but there's a small ball detent in one of the corners there. So that helps hold it on. All right. I'm going to take the 10 and 12 off. Same thing. There you see the ball detent a little bit better. Now, this one is the part number. All right. Um, this one you have to go forward with, and I recommend holding it because it's got a strong magnet on the end. Um, actually, it's strong enough to screw with the camera and make it blurry. And it is a really strong magnet. It'll hold all the bits just fine. So even in itself, just as a magnet, this is super helpful. And it's impact rated, so it'll at least take some abuse. But say... Right now I have it on 7mm. Well, I don't have any 7mm nuts here at the moment. But, um, let's see what else we can do. So, if I pull this off the end, and you can see it's... I'll get this to focus. It's, con it's being confused by the sockets that are in the back end. Got this cool looking design to it. There's another ball detent. Little screwdriver symbol at the end. But again, if you take... Something like one of these, yeah, it'll stick to the end, but you won't be able to use it other than it just being a strong magnet. So, not sure why that's like that. Maybe it's telling you that's where the front is. Could be. Let me take this off the side here. Sorry for the pause, I sneezed there for a moment. So, let me show you. Well, you saw a 7 on the front, I don't have anything to show you for a 7. 
So let me flip this around, and now we have eight. So what can you use an eight millimeter socket for in an automotive use? Well, what about hose clamps? If any of us have any aftermarket intakes, you may use like a three or four inch uh, hose clamp. This fits perfectly right there. Now, obviously I can't turn this by hand, so how do you use that? Well, you have a couple of options. You could use this one. Now you have a really long extension that you can loosen and tighten as necessary. So that's cool. But what else? Say I don't want this huge extension for some reason. So if I take out the screwdriver, remember that Klein Tools little ratchet? Well, it fits. So now I have a short ratchet that I can use in either direction. There's a little reverse in here, and I can do it that way. So that's cool. This is the other reason why this is staying in my toolkit. Now, I'll have a link in the description for that as well. So what happens if you don't need a 7 or 8 that's at the end here? Well, what if I need, I don't know, let's see, what size is this? Now this is a constant, um, constant torque clamp that you use on the turbo piping in the car. So it's that size, so it's a 10. If I get the focus, that fits on there. I'm going to stick this in the back side of it. I'm going to reconnect this. Actually, I have to flip around because it's the wrong side. And here, I can tighten this here as well. Or I can loosen it. Just like a regular ratchet works. So, using something like this, Gives me more options to remove or fix hardware for like turbo clamps. Uh, this is actually between the turbo and the hot side pipe on my vehicle. There's uh, four of these. Because the stock ones, which were very much like this, just smaller, always failed. And that's how the turbo kit came. It's really weird. So I can't get that on that side. Let me pull that off. What happens if I want to store this? Well. I could just put it right on the end there, and that'll work. Same thing with this. You can put these on in any position. You could even flip them around. They'll fit. They also make a really nice, um, get them in the right order, make a nice, almost like a uh, fidgeting noise. It actually kind of sounds like a slide to a pew pew. Um, so if you really want to scare somebody, you probably could recreate that noise. And you can do that if you wanted to. So remember, the one on the front that's closest to that magnet there goes out that way. These two go that way. If you try to take this off any other way, it won't. When I first got it, I couldn't figure out how to take the thing apart. It will not let you go out the other way. So, I'm going to put this back to the way it was, 7 8. Ten and 12, and 13 and 14. So, if you're one of those people that carry an EDC kit with them, uh, for like basic tools, because you never know, kind of like a MacGyver of sorts, um, or a uh, just an emergency kit in your vehicle or at work, or just even your regular day tools. Or if you're an electrician, I'm not sure what you would use these for as an electrician because I'm not an electrician. Um, but like if I have to take off brackets for piping or something, I can do that. I can loosen and tighten valve cover bolts. I can remove the oil control valve and check to make sure there's no metal in the um, screen in there to make sure the car is not, you know, having some kind of bearing issue or whatnot. There's lots and lots of uses, especially automotive. 
It doesn't have to be. I'm just trying to align them. It's an OCD thing. So a link will be in the description for this. It'll be right at the top. Same thing for the ratchet, which does come with a bit set, and the bit sets do fit these bits. Let's just pull one out. Do fit in the driver, and you can do this by hand. Of course, I can't get this focused because of how far everything away is, but you get the idea. So all three tools will be in, in the description for links if anybody's interested. Um, so between this, you zoom in here a little bit. So between this impact socket set and this and this, I already have most of the basic tools needed in my car. Now, granted, I also have like a uh, torque wrench and things of that nature, but basic tools for just fixing things that may go wrong. Um, that's a quick and easy setup right there. Big screwdriver, basic ratchet, and a small socket set. Look how much room that takes up compared to, you know, a whole big set. So now you have less weight, and it takes up less room, and that's good. So any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will answer them as soon as I can. Um... Which may take a little while because I'm getting about 130 messages a day currently uh, between email and uh, comments. So I'm working on it. And it's just me on this channel. So I'm working on like and subscribe if you haven't already. There we go. And um, that is all. Thank you for watching and have a glorious night.